Hello everybody, and welcome back to another JA Diecast video. Uh, in today's video, we have a how-to video. First one I've done, but uh, I've been asked this question a lot, so I figured I might as well uh, make a video on it and just make it easier for people with this question in the future. Um, basically, what I'm going to be showing is how to get custom paint schemes for iRacing, uh, how to run them and uh, get them set up and things like that. Uh, it's pretty simple once you get uh, what you need and it's uh, pretty quick too so uh, stay tuned for that but first make sure you check out the links in the description like the video and subscribe to the channel um, and now let's get into it uh, so what you're going to want to do is I have it saved up here in the bookmark bar but uh, in the search bar, you're going to want to type in trading paints, and I'm going to sign out here quickly. Um, so when you get on trading paints, this should be about what you see. Paint schemes might be a little different, but as you can see here, this is just a kind of a broad uh, variety of uh, cars. This is kind of everything, um, but what you want to do is you want to go to create an account. And enter your iRacing number, email, uh, password, that kind of stuff, and follow it from there. Uh, once you do that, like this is pretty simple. Uh, I think you have to download trading paints to your PC, but it doesn't take long. Uh, and that's just so it can work with iRacing to get the car on the track. Um, but just follow it from here. Pretty simple. Uh, so now that I showed that, I'm going to sign back in here. And so like I was saying, this is all, every car, uh, this is just not really uh, narrowed down. So what you want to do is you can go up here to my paints and here it'll show you every car that iRacing has. Uh, even the ones that aren't running official races anymore, uh, but they're still on the service. This is every car that you can run in a race on iRacing. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to... Scroll down to the one that you're looking for a paint scheme for. And I'm just going to show you uh, one that I have. We'll go to the Tundra here. Uh, so if you don't have one, obviously this is all you'll see. But I don't own it, so I don't know if it will uh, let me select one. But we'll go to the Silverado here. You'll click on it. It'll show you the paint scheme that you currently have. Uh, to get a new one, or one in general, you just go to Choose Paint. Uh, choose new paint and if you have a paint that you uh, have downloaded to your PC and you know you want to run um, and it's kind of customized to you, you'll go to upload paint, select a file and it'll be a TGA file. If you don't and you just want to find a cool looking one or whatever it is, you go to find a paint and find more paints and it'll show you every uh, Gander Outdoors truck series paint scheme that is on or uploaded to trading paints um, as you see back to blue uh, custom Red Bull Jack Daniels Clint Boyer and right here is actually made by truck uh, series driver Spencer Boyd um, for when he runs his stuff uh, so that's how you see the paint schemes for a specific series if you're looking for a specific sponsor uh, for a specific series, you come up here and just say I'm looking for Mountain Dew. Uh, you type Mountain Dew into the search bar in the top right, and it'll show you every Mountain Dew uh, truck series paint scheme that you can run. Um, so look, there's all these. There's this uh, Dew SA custom truck, or Liberty Brew, not Dew SA. Uh, but a Liberty Brew custom truck that this guy made. And let's go back to my paints. Let's see. Let's see, yeah. back here, you can, oh, hold on. If you want to remove it, you don't have to. If, like, if you want to choose a new, a new paint, you don't have to remove custom. It should work if you just go select another one. Uh, but another option is favorites. Uh, so if you want to switch between paint schemes, like every other race or so, something like that, uh, you just, we'll go to a paint scheme here actually, and find one. 
Um, let's do modified, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Find paint. And just say I want to favorite this one. You just click favorite. And when you favorite it, you can go to your profile. And it'll show you every paint scheme that you favorited. And that'll uh, just show you. Or it's kind of like a quicker way to uh, change between paints. Uh, but once you have your paint, what you want to do next is go to iRacing. And uh, I guess I have an update that I need to download. But uh, once you're on iRacing and you have your paint, you want to go to the Account tab and click Customize uh, or Customize Paint Schemes and then Customize Cars. And once you're there, you select the uh, car that you want to customize. And this stuff doesn't really matter. The paint scheme doesn't. Uh, the only thing it does is it changes up here. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to change your number. And you can change your font and stuff over here. Uh, and your preferred number as well uh, for practice sessions and stuff. But um, what you want to do is you want to change your number and the colors so it'll match up with the paint scheme. So I have a white number selected. It looks like that. So my uh, truck, actually the only uh, color on it is black really, except for the sponsors and stuff. So any, uh, any color number would work, but let's just find one here. Um, yeah, so this Red Bull truck is fine. So say I had this and I want that number. Uh, I'm not sure if that 49 is in iRacing or not, but um, so you want to change the color, the number color, because if you don't, whatever uh, you had selected before is going to be what shows up on the truck. So say you run in this, you want your paint scheme, you get in the race, and you have a bright yellow or neon green number. Uh, it just doesn't match and doesn't um, you know go together. So if you want it to match, uh, just make sure you change the color here. And also the wheels, this is how you change color of the wheels. Um, you know, say you wanted red matte rims, that's how you would do it. Uh, if you wanted chrome, same thing, select chrome. And uh, that's how you change that. Personally, I just go with the matte black. Uh, just pretty standard stuff. Um, but that's how you do it. That's uh, So yeah, once you have your paint scheme, just make sure you change your number and your wheels so it matches up. Um, but that's how you uh, get a custom paint scheme on trading paints, or on iRacing more specifically. How you get your own car or truck, whatever it is, in the game, in the race. Um, I hope this is helpful. Uh, this is the first how-to video I've done. I might uh, come out and put another one up for how to make a paint scheme in a couple days. Uh, I'm not sure yet. This paint scheme right here is the first one I ever made. I made it yesterday, so uh, it's pretty basic, but it's really all I wanted. Uh, just something simple. Uh, so I might come out and make a simple one on just how to get text and numbers on on the truck and on the car. And just, like I said, make a simple one. Logos, sponsors, whatever it is, just something like that. And I'm trying to convince my friend, who is much more advanced and a lot better at this than I am, uh, to come out and make um, a full how-to on how to, you know, add different patterns and things like that. Um, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you check his channel out in the description. Uh, also, his trading paint is down there as well. But I might come and uh, just do a simple one, thinking about it. But I hope this is helpful, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Check out the links in the description box below. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions that I might be able to answer. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.